The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Enterprises, Inc. presents Dave and Friends, Episode 2 and 1 Quarter, The Tallest Building in the City Gets New Backrooms Hello Internet! Welcome to Film Theory, where we investigate one of the strangest mysteries in La La Land. Wait, are you Matthew Patrick of the Film Theorist Channel? That's correct, what's your name by the way? My name is Dave Madsen, the boss of Dave Madsen Enterprises, Inc. And this is my beautiful girlfriend, Rhonda Raven. Hello, I'm Rhonda Raven. It is an honor to meet you two, Mr. Madsen and Miss Raven. And hello to you two, Matthew Patrick. My name is Microsoft Sam. It is an honor to meet you as well, Microsoft Sam. So, Mr. Patrick, what are you up to? Yeah. What are you doing outside the tallest building in the city? Well, there's something mysterious underneath the Chaz H. Friedman building after the failed suicide attempt of a famous supermodel. Wait a minute. A failed suicide attempt? I wonder who tried to jump off that tall building to death. According to the news article, it is said that a mightiest superhero team saved a supermodel named Alexis Stonebridge from taking her own life after her dramatic separation of her husband, Rainforest. Hold on. Rainforest is Alexis Stonebridge's husband. Was he the same actor who will play as Microsoft Sam at the film? Do we need to talk about it? Not really, Sam. Keep it still. Sorry, Dave. Can't you just settle down for a moment, guys? We're having a film theory here. My apologies, Mr. Patrick. Just call me Matt Pat. Okay, Matt Pat. My friends are having a talk about Rainforest's role in a movie that Sam refuses to hear. Wait. Did Matthew say that he's having a film theory? No way! We're here in Matt Pat's studio. Yeah, but don't break the fourth wall. There's an ongoing investigation outside the Chaz H. Friedman building, and we need to help him out. That's correct, Abby. Now let's get... <laughs> did I hear Sam screaming? Sam? Sam? Are you in there? How did Sam fall through the solid floor? That doesn't... Aha! We just found something suspicious inside this parking garage! There's something underneath the solid floor that leads us to another dimension. Another dimension? Can you tell us what it is? Why not jump into that suspicious surface and see for yourself? Well, I don't know if I can- <laughs> Oh noes. Mike has fallen through the floor. That's a very strange floor. Uh, let's take a look at this weird looking floor. Be careful, Dave. You might get- <laughs> Oh no! Scotty! Scotty fell through the solid floor. Dave, do something. There's no time to waste, guys. We don't really know who dragged our friends to a different dimension. You're right, Dave. Let's jump into that suspicious surface and find our friends. I'll be right behind you, guys. Strap in, loyal theorist. We're going down to the surface and solving the mystery underneath the tallest building of BFF City. After Dave, Mary, Zira, Harvey, Beulah, Abby, Rhonda, and Mad Pat's jumped through the mysterious floor. Huh? What is this place? Holy shnikes! Are those the back rooms to the tallest building of BFF City, Mad Pat? That's right, Dave. You know something, Dave? What's that? The first thing I noticed, when we jumped into that suspicious surface and stepped into that room, there was an air of permanency about it, as if it were a place that was meant to last. I have no idea what to expect from the new rooms. Well then, maybe if we just go through the back rooms, maybe we'll find out where the rest of our friends are. That's a great idea, Harvey. Well everyone, what are you waiting for? Let's go through these back rooms. Hey everyone, there's the door that might lead us to an answer. Well Mary, why don't you open it and see what's going on? Okay then.
Oh my god. This can't be happening. You mean to tell me that? Sam, Mike and Scotty have been kidnapped. That's right, Mary, Zira, and Harvey. Oh no! It's that enemy disguised as David Foster Wallace. That's exactly who I am, Beulah. I'm David Foster Wallace, and I'm holding Sam, Mike, and Scotty captives in my writing studio, where I'm writing my next novel called The Broomstick Effect. Oh my god, this can't be happening. I hope someone comes to take a bite out of this mystery. Fear no more, everyone. Cortana is here to help you. Oh my god, it's Cortana. She's come here to help us. That's right, and I didn't come here alone. I also brought backup as well, and that backup is right here. Alexa Stonebridge, we weren't expecting to see you here. Me and Cortana heard what was going on, so we came through the backroom hallway and discovered that what we saw through that hallway was a publishing studio of David Foster Wallace, in which who kidnapped Sam, Mike, and Scotty was actually an imposter disguised as David Foster Wallace. I agree with you on that one, Zira. Me too. Me three. And me four. Okay then we've got a good mind to destroy that imposter's disguise as David Foster Wallace. Go to it! As for you imposter disguising as David Foster Wallace, you have something coming towards you? No please, don't hurt me. I only want to work on my first novel, known as the Broomstick Effect, so that it can imitate the Harry Potter book series. Too bad, you're going to get what you really deserve. So take this. <laughs> Curses! You destroyed my precious disguise! Oh, Shakespeare! I can't believe David Foster Wallace is actually my evil twin all along! God Almighty, save us! I hear your call, Dave. Did your evil twin disguise as David Foster Wallace and hold Sam, Mike, and Scotty hostage? Indeed he did, and for that, I despise him! Alright, you meddlers, get out of here now! Sam, Mike, and Scotty belong to me. No, no Sam, no, Sam, Mike, and Mike Scotty and do not, not belong to you. To you. Release them at once. once. Keep this up and I will shit all over Dave and his friends. Soil even, Soil even one of them one and you'll feel my wrath. You heard him. Now release them at once. I'd say it's scandalous and nothing but scandalous. As for the rest of you guys, you're asking for it. Bombs away. <laughs> Missed us, my evil twin. The feces boomerang and hit your evil twin instead of us. Ha 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 ha. Gah, I don't believe it. You guys tricked me. You, ew. It serves him right for trying to let loose on us. I agree, Rhonda. He got a taste of his own medicine for once. Now to send that evil twin of Dave Madison back to his infernal wasteland. Curses. Foiled again and covered in my own filth. My master is going to hear about this. Oh, my aching sphincter. He'll never win, because, as I always say, sore losers, yes, yes, prophets, no. Well said, and the rest of you are free to get out of the back rooms. Thank God. You're welcome, Dave. Later, after Dave and his friends rescued Sam, Mike, and Scotty. Wow, Dave, I'm proud of you for saving me, Mike and Scotty from your evil twin who disguised as David Foster Wallace. Why, thank you, Sam. You're welcome, Dave. And I want to thank you for coming to my rescue, Mary. You're welcome, Mike. And I want to thank you for coming to my rescue, Eula. You're welcome, Scotty. Now that Evil Dave is out of our hairs, I think it's best if we turn these mysterious back rooms into something more exciting. That's a great idea, Zira. Why don't we turn these back rooms into an online gaming service? Great idea, Harvey.
Well, everyone, these chat rooms are just about ready for the gamers to play six exciting games we supported online in just one hour. The service is supposed to start operations at around 6 p.m. tonight. Okay, then. But speaking of online games, did you know that my future cousin used to do a monthly anthology series called Gaming Computer of the Month? How long did that series run for, Dave? I'd say between November 1994 and September 2011, so almost 17 years. Wow, I didn't know it would run for that long. I know right, in that series, Astro would demonstrate online game playing with games like Air Warrior, Doom, Doom 2 and the Imagination Network. What is the Imagination Network? It was an online multiplayer gaming service that began its life as a Sierra Network on May 6, 1991. It changed its name to the Imagination Network after AT&T took sole possession of the network sometime during 1994. I really do wish Jimmy, Hank, my twin brother Guy, and my cousin Sydney could all see this, but they're in Astro's universe hanging out playing games. I hope to hear that from them soon. Don't worry Scotty, we will. I agree with you on this one. Me too, but anyways, I hope this gaming service goes online soon. Okay then, what are you waiting for? Now it's 6 p.m. and the official online gaming service, The Back Rooms, has officially launched in the tallest building in the city with Doom, Doom 2, Roblox, Unreal, Resident Evil, and Resident Evil 2 supported by the service. And all the gamers were excited to play these games online. But hey, that's just a theory. A film theory. And cut. This has been a Dave Madsen Enterprises Inc. production for Astro Madsen Productions.